Leaving Cert Higher Level Maths 2021. This is the solution video to question seven. So question seven is our first part B question. So our first long question. And it says the tip of a pendulum of a grandfather clock swings initially through an arc of 45 centimetres. Here it is, the diagram here. So swings through this arc of 45 centimetres. On each successive swing, the length of the arc is 90% of the previous length. So swing two, which is when it goes back, is 45 by 0.9, 90%. Complete the table below by filling in the missing lengths. So all you need to do for this is multiply 45 by 0 0.9 and you can give it in fraction form. So the first one is 81 over 2. Then the next one is given to you. Multiply this one by 0 0.9 to get the next swing and that'll be 6,561 over 200. And then the last one, multiply this by 0 0.9 and it's 29.524. Five. You can give them all in decimals if you want. That's just the way the calculator gave them for me. Part two, t of n is equal to 45 by 0 0.9 to the power of n minus one. That's the arc length of the swing n. The arc length of, find the arc length of swing 25 correct to one decimal place. So for this, you just need to find t of 25. So that's equal to 45 by 0 0.9 to the power of 25 minus one, so that's 24. Throw that into your calculator there and you should get 0 0.436, which is equal to 0 0.4 centimeters, correct, to one decimal place. Part three, find the total distance traveled by the tip of the pendulum when it has completed swing 40. Give your answer in centimeters, correct to the nearest whole number. So for this one, this is the sum of a geometric sequence. So we're actually gonna find the S of N, which is equal to A times one minus R to the power of N, all over one minus R. A is our first term, that's 45. Or is our common ratio, which is 0 0.9, and then n is equal to 40. So we're going to find the s of 40, which is equal to 45 times 1 minus 0 0.9 to the power of n, which is 40, all over 1 minus 0 0.9. And you can put that into your calculator, and that should give you the s of 40 is 443.3. And correct the nearest whole number, so that's equal to 443 centimetres. Part 4. Swing P is the first swing which has an arc length of less than 2 centimetres. Find the value of P. So the T of N is less than 2. That's what that means. P is the first swing which has an arc length of less than 2 centimetres. So we're going to fill in our T of N and solve it for less than two. So 45 times 0 0.9 to the power of N minus one is less than two. Now, if we solve this as equal to two, that'll be 45 times 0 0.9 to the power of N minus one equal to two. Divide across by 45, 0 0.9 to the power of N minus one is equal to two over 45. Then we can go from index form to log form. So the log of two over 45 base 0 0.9 is equal to n minus one. Into your calculator with the left-hand side, the left-hand side works out to be 29.55. That's equal to n minus one. We want n, n is equal to 29.55 plus one, which is 30.55. So that means this, this swing that is equal to two is 30.55. So the first one that's less than two is the one after that, which is 31. So P, we can say therefore P is equal to 31. If you wanna check that, you can. You can do the T of 30 
and see what that is. T of 30 actually works out to be 2.11 and you can do the T of 31 which works out to be 1.907. So that's the first one that's less than 2. Over on to part B. So part B, if the length of the pendulum is 1 meter, show that the angle theta of the swing uh, of swing 1 of the pendulum is 26 degrees, correct to nearest degree. So for this one, we're going to use the arc length formula. So let me just draw a quick sketch here. We have our arc. Here's our angle theta. This is 45 centimeters, so 0 0.45, and this is 1. And what we're going to do is we're going to use L is equal to 2 pi or times theta over 360. So L is our 0 0.45 equal to 2 pi or is just 1, so times 1, and times theta over 360. So then we can go and divide across by 2 pi, so 0 0.45 over 2 pi. is equal to theta over 360. So theta over 360 is equal to 0 0.0716. Multiply across by 360 to get theta is equal to 25.783, which is approximately equal to 26 degrees to the nearest degree. Part two, hence find the total accumulated angle that the pendulum swings through, i.e. the sum of all the angles it swings through until it stops swinging. Give your answer correct to the nearest degree. So for this one, we're actually we're finding the sum to infinity of the angles. So S infinity is equal to A over one minus or. So we can sub in what we know. S to infinity is equal to A is the first term. Now it says hence. So the reason or the fact that it says hence tells me that they want me to use 26 degrees rather than 25.783 degrees. So you'll get different answers and depending on what you use. So I'm going to use 26 degrees, but I'll give you the answer for 25.783 degrees as well. I'm not 100% sure which one they want on the marking scheme. Maybe they'll give you both answers as, as correct full marks for both. We'll be able to tell once the marking scheme comes out. So using 26 degrees, we go 26 over 1 minus 0 0.9. So that's equal to 260 degrees. Or if you use 25.783 over 1.09, uh, sorry, 1 minus 0 0.9, you get that equal to 257.83 degrees. So I reckon you might get the marks for either one. Um, just the fact that it says hence is kind of leaning me towards using the 26 rather than the 25.783. Obviously, using the 25.783 is more accurate. So um, I'm not sure which one they're actually looking for there. Part three, hence or otherwise find the total distance traveled by the tip of the pendulum when it's moved through half of the total accumulated angle. Give your answer in centimeters correct to the nearest integer. So for this one, I'm gonna again use my 26 degrees, which was 260 degree total angle. So 260 degrees, divided by 2 is equal to 130 degrees. So that's the angle that it's gone through when it's half the accumulated angle. Or you could use half of the 257.83, which is 128.915 degrees. So I think use either one of them, and you probably get full marks for them. So we're going to do our S of N formula here for this. S of N is equal to A times 1 minus R to the power of N over 1 minus R. And we want the sum to be equal to this 130 or this 128. I'm just going to work on the 130. So filling in what we know, we're going to try and solve for N. So we know A is 26 
times 1 minus 0 0.9 to the power of n over 1 minus 0 0.9, and that's equal to 130. So I can go and multiply across by 0 0.1 because the bottom the denominator there is 0 0.1 so that's 26 times 1 minus 0 0.9 to the power of n is equal to 130 times 0 0.1 which is 13 i can divide by 26 1 minus 0 0.9 to the power of n is equal to 13 divided by 26 is a half Take away 1 from both sides to get minus 0 0.9 to the power of n is equal to 1, 1 half minus 1, which is minus a half. Multiply across by minus 1, that changes the signs. I have 0 0.9 to the power of n is equal to a half. Change from index form to log form, so that means the log of a half base 0 0.9 is equal to n. So into your calculator with log of a half base 0 0.9 and you get n is equal to 6.57. So after 6.57 of a turn or of a swing, you will have accumulated half the angle. So we want to know what's the distance the pendulum has moved, the tip of the pendulum. So we're going to find the S of 6.57 of the pendulum. So that's equal to 45, it's just the, the first distance the pendulum swings, 45 centimeters times 1.09 to the power of 6.57 over 1 minus 0 0.9. So the S of 6.57 is equal to 224.79, which is approximately equal to 225 centimeters correct to the nearest integer. Okay, so that is question seven. There was some tricky parts in that, so if you have any questions, ask them below. Try and go through the solutions yourself first. You're better off to do that um, before you ask. Just see if you can get through it and figure out the, the steps that maybe I went a bit quick over. Um, but if you do have any questions, just ask in the comments below and I'll get back to you. Thanks.